Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online and we are here with our beautiful Rose Stone and our adorable little Thistledown and Miss Holdsworth getting ready for a really amazing day. And actually we have already been having a really amazing day and then something terrible happened you guys. So we actually spent time over here with Miss Holdsworth who apparently was excellent at baseball when she was younger, batting down the old beehive and removing it from her porch. It was actually right here on her porch so I totally understand how she kind of wanted those bees to move but we successfully moved the bees we managed to do all sorts of racing with rose stone and get her up to level 10 we got really excited about her being up at level 10 we talked about training up amethyst mist and fire lord the two horses that we just recently achieved and we did so much work with the bobcat girls only right at the very last seconds to have a power outage at my house and lose it all so I'm wearing the bee shirt that we won from, or won, well, that Miss Holdsworth knitted for us. Thank you very much. She made a nice sweater, a nice little shirt, adorable little bee shirt. It is now my absolute most favorite shirt ever. But she made this for us as a gift for helping her out with the bees. So I'm wearing it now. Rose Stone is level 10 now, and we have achieved a little bit more, teensy bit more reputation with the bobcats. So we're slowly climbing our way up from neutral to maybe friendly. They're still kind of stuck up to say the least and we've been helping them out with trying to scope out uh, the racing track and prepare for a competition and we have been helping them out with a new girl who has shown up here at the stables and I'm so sorry I am so sorry you guys that all of that is now lost forever but blame the random power outage that we had this morning because trust me Losing a whole episode is, is very devastating when you have so much to do all over the place. But we're going to go ahead and just keep moving. So that means we have a more quest to do. Every quest counts because it will get us a little teensy bit closer to being able to level up. And you guys, I really, 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 really think when I finally level up enough to go to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur, I'm so scared it won't live up to the hype in my head. But I'm really excited because I think when we go there, I'm going to have a wonderful time. So that's my biggest goal is to get to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. Also, this is kind of an adorable horse. It's just kind of like slowly trotting towards us. Hello, person. All right, but we actually need to work with Mandy here. So Mandy, who actually shares a name with an amazing person that I really like uh, in our community, Mandy Flowerwood. Hi, Mandy. You're the one who got me into Star Stable. She's entirely the reason we play Star Stable. But Mandy here is new in the area and people, uh, the Bobcat girls have been scoping her out and they all say she's a snob, but no one's ever talked to her. So we're in charge of talking to her and helping her out. And we just startled her when we came up and talked to her and all of her stuff flew everywhere. So we need to help her pick up all of the things that fell out of her bag. Mm -hmm. So, um, by the way, why should I have anything to be worried about? It's you who's doing all the sneaking around. Have you got nothing better to do than spy on me? Not that there'd be any reason to spy on me. No reason at all. Uh, now look, you've scared me so much I dropped my bag and all the stuff has fallen out. Ugh, it's all your fault. Uh, you really think, I really think she might fit in with the Bobcat girls. Maybe you want to try helping the new girl pick up her stuff? Of course I would. Are you spying from like another rival group, Miss Bobcat girl lady? Oh, wow. That was really easy to help her pick up her stuff. All right. I need to say hello to April. So, hello. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Questing. Quest ring. Questing right now, but nice to meet you. There we go. Shy Siri is so shy. All right. There you go, Mandy. Thanks. Sorry I snapped at you like that. My bad. All right, Mandy. Um, I'm sorry I got so angry like that. I didn't mean to. It's just that you really made me jump. It was mean of me. Sorry again. Want to start over? My name's Mandy, and you are? Saga? Is that even a real name? Woo, Mandy. This Mandy is nothing like the Mandy that I know. And <laughs> she definitely sounds like she'd fit in with the Bobcat girls. I mean, um, how lovely. Nice to meet you. Have you been here in more than long? This is my first time here, so I, I suppose it remains to be seen if I'll have more visits in the future. You're the girl Mr. Moreland said would show me around? Oh, well, that's nice of you, and I'd love to come with you for a ride. I wasn't able to bring my own horse with me, but Mr. Moreland said I could borrow a horse called Firewind. Oh, and another thing, I'm afraid I left my saddle and bridle at home. I've got, like, all this awesome gear, like, the best quality ever. But there's so much other stuff I needed to bring with me that I totally forgot to bring my gear. Could you help me find some of it so that I could... Could you help me find some that I could borrow just this one time? Uh, alrighty. Alright, well, every single, every single, um, whatchamadoodle. Hello, person! 
every single quest counts because we're slowly <laughs> climbing our way up on the experience points. And I actually really do love the fact that the only way to really get experience in this game is to do the quest because then you don't tempt yourself into just grinding by like slaughtering slimes forever. But I have been thinking it would be kind of fun. And there we go, saddle and bridle. It would be kind of fun to try out all sorts of uh, MMORPG. So if you guys have other suggestions, let me know. All right, there you go, Mandy, because you get so many ideas and you share so much community with them. But really, I would like to do more Star Stable videos. All right. And then, hello, everyone. Busy right now, but keep an eye out in the next vids for yourselves. Can I say that? There we go. Yay. All right. Mm -hmm. You're sure I can borrow these? Nobody will mind? Thanks. <laughs> it's really nice of you all to lend me this bridle and saddle. Oh, saddle the horse myself, you say? Um, yeah. I mean, like, I obviously know how to saddle a horse. It's not that. I've been saddling horses before I learned to walk. But it's just that you, your saddles here on Jorvik are a bit different to those I have back home. What kind of saddles do I use at home? Um, what does that even matter? You don't believe me or something? Uh, they're just different, okay? What side is up and what side is down? How should I attach it? Like this? Um, the bridle goes on the head, right? Oh, you want to show me how to do it? Thanks. You don't need to tell anyone about this time, though. About this, though. Yeah, I don't want anybody thinking I've never been on a horse before. That would be crazy. <laughs> so show me how to saddle Firewind. I don't know if we need to put her on Firewind. Can I get Melanie out? Melanie's a nice old horse. I think Melanie would be more her. Melanie would be more her pace. The girl who couldn't saddle. Oh, boy. Oh, golly. All right, so we need to come over here and help her saddle Firewind. Firewind, you've got a little bit of a determined look in your eye. Oh, I must be dismounted. All right, Rosestone, please have some horsey, like, heart-to-heart. -heart. Oh my gosh, my waist looks so teensy. I need to eat more honey. Um, have a heart-to-heart -heart with Firewind, please, and make sure he doesn't just decide to... Oh, saddle first? Okay, see, I don't even know how to saddle a horse. There you go, buddy. He, make, please make sure he doesn't decide just to take off with Mandy. <laughs> All right. And then Mandy, what do you think? I helped you. There. Did yeah. you learn something? Nice. Thanks. Thanks for the demonstration. I'll remember your tips and get it right next time. All right. Now what, Mandy? Um, Saga, what's the deal with actually getting on to Firewind? He's huge. Like, I'll need a ladder or something to get up his back. How do you get up onto Rosestone? <laughs> no, don't be silly. You can't possibly think that I've never ridden a horse before. <laughs> I have my own horse, like I told you. <laughs> um, yeah, like my horse is super easy to get onto. He usually just bows down and I step onto him really easily, like the usual. What are you looking at me like that? It's true, I promise. Help me up onto Firewind instead of just standing there, please. All right, well, I get five experience for it. So like I said, every little bit counts. All right, here we go. Oh, no, no. Well, hi. Well, uh, went well at least. Thanks for the help. I could do it myself, of course, but I just don't feel myself today for some reason. All right, so you say, ma'am, so you say, does this girl really know anything at all about horses? I'm getting uh, increasingly suspicious. <laughs> um, one more thing. There must be something up with the saddle. It feels like I'm not sitting right on it. Should it be something like this? What? What do you mean I've never ridden before? Of course I have. How nice of you to check and see if it needs adjusting. Thanks. Oh boy, all right. We're gonna adjust the saddle for her. Like I said, every little bit counts, so this is worth it. All right, what about this? There we go. Thanks! Now I feel like I'm sitting better. Every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. It's like trying to work a job that you don't really like. So you could get to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur. It's totally worth it. Awesome. All right. It'll be really fun to see more of Moreland. Thanks for taking me with you on this tour. Hey, you should lead the way, Saga. I don't know anything about the area. Alrighty, I'm on this. Awesome. We've got this. Cool, I'm ready to ride out. All right. I don't know how this is going to go. Where are you going? I can't find this place myself. Well, where the heck did you go? Oh, there you are, Mandy. Firewind, good horse. <laughs> good job. All right. Apparently, I'm supposed to be scoping you out for the bobcat girls, Mandy. So far, I think your personality may fit right in. I'm not sure about the rest of it, but hey, we'll get there. We'll get there. You have your own little procession because I think today is so perfect. Wouldn't you agree? I think you have your own little procession, Mandy, because we might have people following us now and then. Enjoy it. Enjoy it while you can, I suppose. Everybody super friendly. Go, go so fast, Rosestone. Easy there. Easy there. We're going to go nice and slow. There we go. There we go. There you are, Mandy. All right. 
And a little bit slower. There we go. Oh, boy. All right. Well, um, thistle down. Do you want to talk to the little piggies? Oh, that's what I was thinking about earlier. We still have our little piggies with us. So I kind of imagine they're like the three little pigs. And I was trying to figure out which one would be the one. Oh, fire one's starting to take off. He's getting a little anxious. He's getting anxious too. Are we going to race Mandy? Is that what's going to go down? I wonder if she's going to freak out and start screaming. But I was trying to figure out which... This must be Conrad. Uh-oh. How do you know about him, huh? Interesting. So he might be... She might be here to scope out Conrad. Thanks for showing me around. So that's all she wanted. I'm so suspicious of this. All right. So we have three little pigs and I was trying to figure out which little pig would be the one that lives in straw, which one would be the one that lives in the twig house, and which one would be the one that lives in the brick house. Is it difficult to become a member of the Bobcats? Not with your personality, my dear. All right, oh, we're going over here too? Okay then. All right, well, easy does it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, over to Josh. All right, that's fine. Come on, I want to gallop. Where are you going? I can't find this place myself. Well then hurry up. Rosestone could kind of outrace a uh, Rosestone, not if Go 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 Alright, there we go. No you don't. I do not want to start over on this whole tour. I am right beside you, woman. There we go. Alright, tour completed. Wow, just wow! Whoops, went too fast. All right. It's so lovely here. I'm jealous now. This place is way nicer than it is back home. Hey, off topic, how are the bobcats? Do you know them well? You're a bobcat, right? Hey, since I'm going to be moving here, I guess it wouldn't hurt to know when everyone's birthdays are, how old they are, and how their families look, right? <laughs> That's not weird. I'm just curious. Um, uh, well, forget what I said. Shall we race back to the stable? Last one back has to do the other stable chores for a month. Uh, sure. Woo! Look at that. Good, good boost. Good boost. Yay, boost. A friendly race. So can she actually ride or... Okay, she's doing something. All right, Rose Stone. Rose Stone, no! I have chosen the wrong thing, Rose Stone. All right, Rose Stone. We're, we've got a little bit of trouble going on here because I just... I totally have messed up. I was like, hey, she's going to go along the shore. Nope. Okay. This is a mess. All right. Yep. We're, don't mind me. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. This is going to be over soon. Start over, please. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> ah, that's not the way to impress Mandy. I was like, yeah, we've got this. And then I totally went the wrong direction. All right, we've got this now. All right, Rose Stone. Okay, Rose Stone. Okay, Rose Stone. I don't know where we're going, Rose Stone. I'm lost, Rose Stone. We went too fast, Rose Stone. <laughs> was it along here? There goes Mandy. <laughs> Fooey. This is, this is embarrassing. I'm going to go a little slower now. <laughs> and this poor person, Apple Lock, who's like following us, is like, what on earth is going on? I love her society name, though. Perfect Bird Society. <gasps> oh, I should start like a bird society club thing on, on like zoo crafting. Wouldn't that be so cool to start a club of some kind? All right, we've got this. We're going to beat her. Now that I'm going to stop like going off in the wrong direction. Ironically, we were going so fast that I just kind of tore off in whatever direction I wanted. Like this. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, there, there she is again. Okay, yeah, she seems to be a decent enough rider. Maybe she wasn't just like totally lying to us about everything she could do. All right, there we go. Racing along here and then here. Okay, okay. Are we almost back yet? Yay, she has to do my stable chores. Do I still get the money? <laughs> there we go. There you are, Mandy. Hello. Yay, me! Did you see how I rode Firewind just then? I'm pretty awesome at riding, huh? Yeah, well, yeah, you're also awesome, but you get to ride every single day, so it's not fair to compare the two of us, is it? Hello. No way! It's not late already? Thanks for the tour, but I need to get to Jorvik City. I've got tons to do there. I'll catch up with you later, though. Um, obviously, I know how to do everything with the saddle and bridle, but now I'm really in a hurry, which means I'm not taking them off <laughs> because it has got nothing to do with the fact I don't have a clue about how to take them off. No, no, nope, no, sir. I've done that loads of times. Could do it in my sleep. Definitely. <laughs> for real? Nice. That would be kind of you to offer to unsaddle a firewind for me. Now, hey, Mandy, that's not cool. You got to take good care of your horses. If you're going to ride them, you have to take the whole responsibility, the whole kit and caboodle. It's another perfect bird. Oh, that's so cool. I like that name perfect bird society 
I'll take him to the stable while you go over and talk to that blonde girl. She seems to want you for something. Loretta is her name, right? See you later. Oh my gosh. All right. That has been managed. Electric Roses. Now that's a pretty cool name too. Loretta. Um, hello. I'm just standing here waiting for a report on this new girl and you're running around the place with her like she's your new BFF. Hello, details? Come on, I want to hear everything. What did she say? Is she a bobcat or not? Did she have a pair of Jorister shoes on? Seriously? You think she'll fit in here? She's got one ugly style of writing, I'll say that. That could be changed though, unlike a bad sense of style. If someone's dressed like a nerd, then there's no saving them. What did she think of Firewind? Of course she liked him. Have you guys installed him, by the way? You're going to do it for her? Okay. Well, what are you standing here for? Go in and sell him. All right. Yay, more experience. You can't even see it move when I get experience. It's so depressing. All right. Well, let's go take care of Firewind because he deserves to be very... Silent Zebra's legacy. Come on. Those names are just so cool. He deserves to be well taken care of. All right, Rustone. I'll probably have to get off you for just a second. You stay here, my dear. We might take her on a quick race because it looks like Tan will let us race. Uh, oh, stable gloves, stable gloves. Okay, got it. All right, I love my new B shirt, but I need more, like, chubbiness. I'm so tiny. All right, take care of Firewind and tell me about it. Conditions fulfilled. Now we need to go and let her know we took care of him. And then we might go on a quick race with Tan and see what the other Bobcat girls want. Because it, it's at the point where I really feel like every single quest counts. Um, and we might go ahead and see what Linda wants after this, too. Alright, all right, Loretta, how do you do? Have you unsettled Firewind? Great, Julie can take care of the grooming. It's her horse, after all. Now to tell you, now you need to tell me everything right now. So, now I want to hear everything. Tell me, what did you think of this girl? I think she's totally weird. I know she wasn't a proper rider. You think we should give her a chance anyway? She's a total liar. I can see it a mile off. Her shoes are probably not even real Joyce <laughs> Jolly Stirs. They're probably fake. Okay, okay, because it's you, I'll talk to the other girls and see what we sh whether we should give Where's Weirdo a chance. Now, where's my phone? Ah, <sighs> yo, Saga, could you ride to the stable real quick and grab my green bag for me? Meh, yeah, I know. As if I would have a green bag. Hey, green's my favorite color, Lorada. We just may start, like, butting heads over this one thing. If this is going to be a club all about fashion, I have something to say about green, I'll have you know. And hand-knit bee sweaters are the best, so don't even start bashing on Miss Holdsworth cool stuff. All right, anyway, you're the cutest if you'd go get it for me. I'm sure I left it just outside the stable. I bet that something... I bet she's stolen it. I bet Miss Liar Pants, Liar Liar Pants on Fire, has stolen it. What? <gasps> we have a thief among us! A thief among the Bobcats! Oh my goodness! Mandy, what are you doing? No, no, no. It has the creepy music! Mandy, are you a creepy lady? Why would you steal someone's cell phone? Ah! Oh. And I thought this was going to be like an easy peasy little short breezy quest setup. So what on earth is going on down here? What's Mandy doing with Loretta's bag in the first place? What's this? A note? Mandy must have dropped it when it when she ran off. It reads Loretta, maybe? Tan, wrong birthday. Julie, nope. Sophia, nope. What could this mean? It looks like Mandy dropped more notes as she hurried away. If you follow the trail of papers, it may lead you to Mandy so you can confront her about this whole thing. <gasps> I love these quests! Yay, more experience! <laughs> Slowly, oh, it's floating in the air! What the heck? It's a possessed note. Let's grab it. All right, where am I going? Where am I going? Okay, she ran this way. Wow, look at the notes in the wind! Where am I going? Who knows? Who knows? Ah! Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> you guys! This is so cool. I could just watch it like fly in the wind all day. Oh, this is hilarious. Okay, I got it. All right, another mysterious paper. And then Miss Liar Liar Pants on Fire ran this way. Miss Holdsworth, she's not going to like hold you hostage, is she? All right, she ran this way. Look at how cool that is. Okay, I got it. Snatched it. Snatched it right out of the air. And then let's see. I think she turned. It looks like she went up against the coast, so we'll go that way. I wish I could pick more flowers from Miss Holdsworth. Like, that would be really cute if you could just do a tiny little, like, five-coin quest every day to pick flowers from Miss Holdsworth. That would be adorable. All right, what about over here? And then more notes. Aha! Where the heck is she going? She doesn't even know how to get to Yorvik City. 
She's just kind of going in loops. All right. I love how these quests always turn out so much more complicated than you expect. You think it's something simple and next thing you know, you're like really, really out of place. Mandy, I'm confronting you. Why are you following me? What do you want? It's not what it looks like. You've read my note? Yeah, and? <laughs> what do you, why do you think there would be something shady about me? Loretta's bag, you lie about your writing knowledge. I'll get back to you on that. Um, uh, come on, Loretta's bag. I mean, your bag is pink. You remember the, the bag I dropped was pink from back when I dropped at the stable? Why do you think, why do you think there uh, would be something shady about me? Information about the Bobcat girls? I'm not snooping on the girls in the stable. What makes you think that? You've got a note showing some of their names. Okay, okay, you've, you're right. I've got, uh, I've been gathering info about them, but it's not what you think. Uh, you lie about your riding knowledge. You can't sell a horse. Everyone can see you're not an experienced rider. Uh, I have to admit, you were right about everything, and I've probably been behaving suspiciously. Yeah, like, we have some dark evil forces of the dark core kind of going on here, ladies. So, if you're not really that suspicious, you kind of need to speak up before they, like, toss you off a cliff or something. No joke. All right. Okay, okay, I'll tell you everything. I don't know if you've got any siblings. I don't have any, anyway. When I was little, I hoped I might get a little brother or sister, but I never got one. Both of my parents were only children as well, which means I've never had any cousins either. I imagine the fun family- I am, imagine how fun the family parties were. It was pretty much just me there. Boring. <gasps> Is this gonna be something really sweet? Like she was looking for a long lost cousin? Ah, it's never what I expect. I love it. With all that said, everything changed just a few months ago. I learned that I actually have a half-sister. <gasps> Drama! Hello! You've got no idea how happy it made me to learn, uh, made me to find that out. My happiness was totally indescribable, which is a really good thing because that implies a lot of like not so happy family dynamics. <laughs> Neither of my parents wanted to talk uh, so much as talk about it though, so they were just pretending that nothing happened and that I should drop it. But how can I? That's why I decided to find some answers on my own and find my half-sister. The only thing I really got to know was that she rides here at Moreland Stables. Apart from that, I only know when her birthday is, how old she is supposed to be, and a little bit about her family. More than that, I'm totally in the dark about who she is, how she looks, or what she's called. That This is all why I've been trying to get as much info as I can about the girls here at the stables, so I can work out which one of them is my real sister. Oh, okay, I'm happy now. This is adorable. A tale of two sisters. Holy moly days. You guys, I like her. I like her after all. Okay. All right, Mandy, let's wrap this up and then I will help you more next time too. I've already been able to lose a couple, uh, lose a couple names from my list, but there's a few left that I'm not sure about. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so precious. Okay, let's see what she wants us to do next. Now you know why I've been behaving so strangely. I've only been trying to work out which one of the girls here in the stable is my half-sister. You have to promise not to tell anyone. Promise me. I need to work out who it is first so that I can talk to her. I don't want the whole stable finding out about it. Really? You'll help me? Thanks. Hmm, this makes everything a little easier. Since the girls here in the stable know you, they might respond better if you ask them questions. With your help, I'll find out who my half-sister is in no time at all. The ones we need more information about are Loretta, Julie, and Stephanie. Great, take this notepad and jot down their answers for when you talk to them. Oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be so cute, you guys. All right. Well, next time we will continue the tale of two sisters. Um... And we will go and visit with everybody and see what answers they have. So hopefully we will be able to unite the sisters. I am suspecting Loretta. So we're going to see if Loretta is actually Mandy's sister. And if th so, that's absolutely adorable. And we'll continue working on all of our other quests. I still need to go over and talk to Ed so that we can start doing whatever it is we're supposed to be doing over here. And Felix, what's going on over there? Huh. And so we're going to also poke around at some of these other other events. And yes, I do know we need to work with the hermit still over at South Peninsula to adopt that wild horse. But I am almost out of star coins. So we'll have to see how that goes. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.